Hi, welcome to this video lecture. We're continuing our Smart Systems course, and in this module we're going to be talking about data visualization. Specifically, we're going to be talking about a Power BI. BI stands for Business Intelligence. It's this incredible tool by Microsoft that lets you create interactive uh, visualizations of your data. It's, it's quite remarkable, so we're going to talk about a lot of different aspects of Power BI and show you how you can create a dashboard like I'm showing here on the screen. So. Uh, the, I'm making the data that I'll use in this tutorial available to anyone. It's just an internet download. You can find the links to it just in the video description by clicking down below. All right, so uh, what we're going to do, we're going to be looking at some data from uh, this auto sales data. This is just a simulated data. I'll show you what it looks like in a, a CSV file. So a CSV stands for comma separated values file. So it's really just a a file, I'm opening it in Excel, but uh, you can open this as a text file as well. It's just each individual value separated by commas. So this particular data, I'll zoom in, we just have a column with the date. We have, this is for an auto sales, this could be a dealership or multiple dealerships, and they are selling cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs, and it just tells us how many did they sell by date. So we've got the whole year of 2024 here. Um, with different number of sales and that's all the data so this looks like pretty simple maybe even boring data but I want to show you how you can actually visualize visualize this in really cool ways all right so we've got this file it's just called autosales.csv and again this is the one that you can download by just clicking below so I'm going to go ahead and close out of that I am going to go into Power BI so I'm going to open up my Power BI and I'm just gonna tell it I want to, I'm gonna go up to this top ribbon here and I'm gonna tell it I want to get data. So the type of data I want is just in that CSV file. So I tell it I want a text uh, or CSV file that pulls up this uh, menu bar. Um, I'm already in the place where I want, so this is just autosales.csv. So I wanna pull in that this data. So this gives me a little preview here, just the same file we were looking at, just that same exact data. Um, we can do some things to transform the data now, or we can just load the data in. So I'm just going to go ahead and load the data in. So it, it takes a minute um, while this creates a link between our Power BI model and our visualizations and the data file itself. On this left pane, you'll see these three important little uh, boxes you can click. So the report view, this is where we will build the visualization. There is this table view. That's where we can go see a preview of our, actually we can see all of the data here in table form. So this has our date broken down, even it gives you the name of the day again, and then these numbers for cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs. And if you get into doing uh, more complicated models, we have this auto sales. This gives us a preview. It has a column with dates, a column with a number of cars, with SUVs, trucks, and vans. There may be times when you're working with multiple tables and you want to link those tables and create relationships together. So this is where you would look to see that. We will do most of our work in this report view. So I'll click on report view. I'm going to go over to these, these panes. So on the, on the right we have this visualizations pane. This is super useful. This is where you're doing things like telling it what type of a chart to create and how do you populate the data in that chart. And then we've also got this data pane over here. So this is another way of looking at our data. So I can click to expand auto sales and it gives me those four columns. So this is super easy, guys. Uh, what you can do, let's say we want to create a, I'm gonna start with something really simple like a card. So this card is just a display, just a display of one number. So let's say I just want to display, I, I click on this card that creates it over here. I can, <clears throat> I can drag this to wherever I want. I'm gonna put it in the top right. What I want in that card is say, the total number of cars that I sold. So I can just click over here, left click here, drag this over. That gives me the total number of cars. So pretty simple, this is for a total number of cars in my entire data set, which is the one year. I can come over here now into this build visual. Now notice that this, po uh, this field <coughs> has been populated. So right now it's giving me the total sum of all the cars. I can come in here and I can say, I don't want the sum, I want the average. So that now tells me I was, this dealership sells 12.42 cars per day. So that's another way we can visualize it. You can look at minimum. <clears throat> so there are days where we sell zero cars. We can look at our maximum. So the best day for car sales was 32. So these cards are nice. Um, 
You can do multiple cards, so maybe you want to have like the max number here. You can add another card. If I off, if I click off of here back into the general white space, I can click here to add another card. And I can certainly, let's say I want to see both the maximum number of cars, and let's say I'm going to drag cars onto here again, and the total sum of cars. I can just have these visuals, and these would update in real time whenever your file updates. This, this can be refreshed and can update also. And let's just say, let's say I want max, sum, and average on the number of cars. So again, if I want to change this, I come to this field and I say I don't want the max, I want the average. So now this tells me how my dealership is performing in terms of car sales. So let's look again, let's say we want to plot our car sales now. Um, so I can just go here, I can select the type of plot I want. So I'm just going to do this uh, column chart. So I click on column chart, gives me a column chart, I can kind of stretch this out to be the size that I want it. Um, so I'm going to stretch it out so it takes up about a fourth of my total uh, visual here. So I can do the same kind of thing, let's say I want to plot number of cars. So I can go here, I can plot cars, okay this just gives me a bar and that tells me the total number of cars. I can tinker around with here and look at average, those kind of things. This, this plot is obviously not very interesting. So I might want to plot cars with the date. So if you remembered, I had a date that was like, gave me the, the day, month, and year, but it also gives me the time. Um, so you, you can also drag and drop this date into here. Okay, so now that tells me how many cars did I sell in 2024. My data only includes 2024 data. But look at this, without doing really anything else, I, if I click on this plot, I can go and I can drill down here, that tells me, okay, my car sales by quarter. So this gives us something a little bit more interesting. I can also drill down again, that gives us my car sales by month. And you can drill down again, that gives us my car sales, this is the average number of cars by day. So on the first of the month, for all the months, we're still averaging 12.83 cars. The second of the month, for some reason on average, for each month we don't produce enough. There's some randomness in our data. I can also come here and I can click on this button that says click to turn on drill down. So this lets me do it. I can go here to drill up to go back up to the <clears throat> the total year. <coughs> but with this click to drill down button enabled, I can just once click on each individual bar. So instead of drilling down from the quarters to looking at every individual month, let's say I instead want to look at a particular quarter. So I can look at quarter four. That gives me the three months in Q4. I can click on December, and now this just gives me all the dates in December. So now this will give me a whole number because now I'm just looking at December. So on December 15th, I only sold two cars, but on December 14th, I sold 21 cars. Okay, so this you can see how great this is. Um, if you notice, what I actually selected over here in the visualizations pane is I selected a stacked column chart. So that means I can actually stack other things on here. And remember, this dealership doesn't just sell cars, it also sells vans, trucks, and SUVs. So now I can say, well, I want to add that data on here. So I can go here, add SUVs onto here. Notice by default, it's it's comparing the average number of cars sold versus the sum total of SUVs. So I want to come down here and say, and get the average number as well. Right, the average number, so it's comparable to the average number of cars. I'll do the same thing for trucks and for vans. But again, for each of those, I want to come here and say, I don't want the sum. I want the average. You could do sum or average. I think it's, it's important to, in this particular case, to have them all be the same type of numbers so you're comparing apples to apples. Okay, so now we have a stacked column chart. And I can do the same thing. I can drill down. I can see this by quarter. I can see this by month. I can see this by day for an individual month. So really convenient, really handy. One thing this is not telling us, and I don't actually have this in my data set, is the total number of vehicles sold. So I can add this to a legend. So I go over here to my visualizations pane. I'm gonna click off of this, there's this button, this add data to your visual button. There's also this format your visual button and this gives you all kinds of options to format the fonts and uh, text and things like that. I wanna go to total labels. I can go to data labels and I can turn this on and that'll give us a label on each individual column. That's great, I wanna keep my plot a little less noisy, so instead of data labels, I'm gonna go total labels, and I can turn that on, and you can see there's options here for font and color, but um, maybe I will beef up the font a little bit here to make this a little easier to see, so 
I'll beef that up to 14. Okay, so now I'm seeing by quarter, I can see the, I mean, I mean, we're seeing quite an incredible amount of data here just in one plot, but I can see the average number of cars that we're selling in a particular quarter, but I can see the total number of vehicles, I can see how many of those are, are vans, how many of those are trucks, how many of those are SUVs, and how many of those are just regular cars or sedans. So I'm going to leave it here. Uh, tune into the next video where we'll develop another visualization. Specifically, we'll look at how do we look at the whole year at once with every single day shown on there. So just click next for the next video in the series.